Hey, it's Scott Dunn's Brush. How you doing today? Well, we're sitting home watching Matt's off-road recovery, and well, we got a call. This video is brought to you by the Moore Overlanding and Off-Road Expo held on April 19th and 20th, 2024 at the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds in Springfield, Missouri. This is the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer show. The discount code DUNNAGEGAR10 will save you 10% on your ticket purchase. The links are below. Matt and I look forward to seeing you in the Storyteller area. We'll see you there. Let's get back to the video. We have to go up into the country and recover um, my father-in-law, so this will be fun. Don't think the roads are plowed yet. It is, it's actually warmed up. It's three below zero. Wind chill is probably in the negative 20s. But like they say on the show, we'll get them out. Now, I don't want to be critical here, and I appreciate my father-in-law trying to get himself out, but in my opinion, logging chains are only for tying down, not for trying to jerk something out of the snow or out of being stuck. I think there are a lot of places here where something could have broken and gone way, way wrong. So that's my opinion. Like I said, I appreciate that he tried to get us out. So let's try and move on to plan A, and let's just drive out and see if that works. Plan B is the toe strap. In all honesty, I messed up here. I should have taken some time and dug out the front of the truck before hooking up the strap. Also, this is the wrong kind of strap. This is a pull strap, 
not a kinetic strap that's going to have some bungee or some give to it or elasticity that would have helped us get it out. By digging it out first, putting some traction boards underneath the front and that um, and an actual strap with elasticity, the truck probably would have come out. Again, it was miserable cold. I was going through step one, step two, step three, just trying to get this done. And yeah. Just easy pressure, okay? Straight tires. If that doesn't work, I have a few other ideas. Now, the hope here was to be able to get him out and onto my tracks that I put in, but it just wasn't happening. So on to plan C, using the traction boards and using the Jeep trying to pull them forward. Again, we should have dug them out first. I think that would have helped a lot. Again, very, very cold. We're now getting into the negative 30s with wind chill. This was just absolutely unbearable and miserable. So we're going to dig it out here and I'm going to reevaluate what we're doing before we even pull on this and realize it's probably going to come out better with the traction boards going backwards. So plan D, let's try backing out. As you can tell, this isn't working very well either. Again, we probably could have dug out around the sides of the pickup. Just didn't think about it at the time. Again, a little bit of tunnel vision, hoping that it would just get, catch on those treads and back right out. But with the open differential, it just wasn't doing it. Um, the tires didn't have really good traction on them. They were more of a street or all-terrain tire, not an off-road or mud terrain. So. As you can tell, it's starting to get dark. Uh, it was actually darker than what the camera is showing, but yeah. Now we're into the winch. This is actually the first time I exercised this winch. Again, you know, we're plan F, so I did struggle getting it plugged in. Again, you know, first time using this particular winch, but got her in. And this should have been plan A for me. It worked amazing once we got it all hooked up and stretched out. There 
we go. Now we're gonna get some good pulls on it. The wife's outside helping me film. You can see the wind whipping through here. This is miserable, oh, but this is working. So, just wish we would've done it sooner. All right, I'm going back in. My face hurts. husband I don't know how he's doing this I am on my sure Scott's got a plan I don't know but we have to get him unstuck somehow get him somewhere It's the next day we made it back to the garage, but it was quite the evening. Didn't go as smooth as we had liked, and a lot happened after we were done filming. As you may have noticed, we quit filming when it started getting dark. We had a camera die, couldn't use the other camera, we were down to using phones, and it was just getting too cold to be safely filming. What was missed was we got the tractor stuck. The plan here was to take the tractor and push the road clear and drive the pickup back to the house and leave the mother-in-law and father-in-law at their place. Yeah, that didn't happen. So, buried the tractor, couldn't get it out, ended up breaking a traction board, damaging the other one. Finally got it out, wasn't able to push snow, um, so we just put the tractor in second gear and busted through the drift. Left the Jeep in four low and busted through the drift with that. Went back to the house. Father-in-law stayed there. He spent today letting the driveway clear. Mother-in-law came home with us and we took her to work. So that was the evening. It lasted a lot longer than we anticipated. Definitely wasn't as graceful as Matt's off-road recovery. So while we're here, let's take a few minutes and look at the equipment we used in the recovery. So we used a soft shackle and a hard shackle. The soft shackles are absolutely amazing. I love them. They are safe or safer when used properly. But there are times when the hard shackle is necessary and we actually had to use it on this. This strap, a young, has no elasticity in it, so wrong strap to use. And yes, we broke the traction boards. Uh, a young not using it properly, we had a the tractor gets stuck and we were using the bucket to push the tractor back and that's what broke it and this is from rubbing the tires or spinning the tires on the boards got to use a shovel should have taken a few more but that was a good shovel right there to get underneath the tires to get the snow and then once it got dark we were using these safety lights to help make it just a little bit more visible out or on this farm road We're going to call this a wrap. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you want to help out the channel, please consider subscribing. It really does help. You have yourself a blessed day. Remember, life's an adventure. Go live it. And I'll just leave you with the thoughts from my wife. Thank goodness we're not a recovery channel. Have a good one. See you in the next video.